along when you idle. Boy, I thought I knew all about carburetors, but you really know what you're doing. Well, I am not only good at carburetors, I am also good at lunch. How about it? Well, I really wish I could, but I'm supposed to meet my partner at the airfield by 2 o'clock. Well, I was kind of thinking of a hamburger. It'd be kind of quick if you like yours rare. We can skip the french fries. <sighs> 1 30 p.m. I'm going to have lunch with Harry, the carburetor genius. We'll meet Rebecca at 2 o'clock or close to it. Supposed to leave until two o'clock. Not up to me, lady. Ted's ready to go. When uh, Ted's ready to go, he's ready to go, lady. You ready, lady? No, not yet. You see, my partner, she's gonna walk through that door any minute now. I thought you chartered my plane so you could get to Seattle fast. Big story or something? I do, but I can't go without her well, because. Well, there's a storm coming in from the west. A storm? We can probably get around it, but it's gonna be yo yo time. May I use your phone to call New York? Sure. I'll just put it on your bill. <laughs> wow, that lunch took 45 minutes. Oh, bad way to start a relationship. Bad? If I knew it would have taken that long, I would have ordered french fries. case. Listen, when do I have to be in Seattle? When? I'm waiting for the interview and you're asking me when? Well, she should have been here by now. Rebecca, we have a whole story on shoddy safety requirements for transporting chemicals. Now, it's a nice story, interesting, informative. But now we also have a deep throat who's willing to name names, expose the villains in this synthetic world. Now, wouldn't that be a nifty topper to our story? Yes, it would. I just didn't know if I should wait for Amy. Rebecca. Yes, Casey? Like I said, I'm waiting for the interview. Does that answer your question? It answers my question. Bye. Let's go. plane there is no other plane this here's placer city not new york city we got one plane and uh it's gone well, when will it be back as soon as it takes your friend to seattle and turns around it'll come back unless it gets held up by weather there's some magazines on the table
61 Sierra. 61 Sierra, this is Seattle Center, go ahead. Uh, we're about 20 miles north, northeast of Mount Adams at 8,000. We seem to be experiencing some kind of turbulence. Do you have any pyreps in this vicinity? What are pyreps? Pilot reports. Only thing we have is 40 miles southeast. Says the 210 reports modern turbulence. Nothing in your area. Yeah, well, something's near us. See if you can get somebody on this thing. We've got to sit down. Well, what do I say? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear us? Come in, anyone, please. Come in. Keep trying. Help! We're in trouble now. Please, can someone hear us? We're in trouble. All right, try Unicom. Change the frequency to 122.8. What? You might pick up one of the small private airstrips. 122.8. This is Womack Unicom. Identify yourself. Who are we? We are Selmar 61 Sierra. This is Selmar 61 Sierra. We need a place to land. Uh, all right. Can, can you give me a fix your position? Tell him we estimate 20 miles north, northeast of Mount Adams. We estimate 20 miles north, northeast of Mount Adams. We can give him some landmarks. We'll try for some landmarks. There's a road. Two lane paved. There's a road. Roger, 61 Sierra, I make you 20 miles south. Turn to 60 to the pass and take a 90 right for a straight in. Uh, wind 200 at 18. Thank you, whoever he is. Thank you, Charter. They want to know about the Yukon Jack. Well, it should be in Seattle by now. Well, this is Seattle. They said the plane never got there. <sighs> okay, come on. We gotta clear out of here. It could catch fire. I'm coming. All right, come on. Carries okay. first. Legs first. Okay. Okay. Are you all right? I, I think so. How about you? I'm fine. Oh my God! What? Is that? That's gas. Let's get out of here. Hold on. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. All right. Now look. Don't think about it. We're safe. We're in good shape. Now, if this ELT works, we're in better shape. ELT? What's an ELT? Let's go. Up there, let's go. 
Emergency locator transmitter. When a plane goes down, it starts sending a signal automatically. If any plane flies over, they'll hear us. Maybe days before anyone flies near this spot. We were just talking to that Unicom field. They've got to be close by. Doesn't look like we're close by anything. I filed a flight plan. If we don't show up, when and where we're supposed to show up, search and rescue will be notified. You know, that search part before the rescue could take a while. We have food. We have uh, a blanket. Didn't you ever want to go camping when you were a kid? Would Walter Cronkite ever want to go camping when he was a kid? Wait, don't leave me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Amy, 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 just calm down here and talk a little slower. There's no word from the plane, Casey. Casey, they've gone down. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they probably landed in some little airport. Beck would have called. Well, maybe she tried. I know she would have tried to get a hold of me. If not me, you. Look, Amy, if they did go down, all we can do is wait. I mean, there's got to be an air search, right? I can't sit around and wait. I'll go crazy. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'll, I'll tell you what. Take the van. Head up towards Seattle and keep in touch with the air search on your radio. What if I hear she's... You won't. It'll be okay, okay? Well, Casey, I should have been on that plane, too. Would you cut it out? I sent her on that plane. I have enough guilt for both of us, okay? I'm sorry, Case. After we eat, a mother makes some unpopular decisions. Take snacks. I say when, and then it's Hostess. Fresh, wholesome Hostess meets my tough standards. Twinkies cakes with cream filling, real fruit fruit pies, chocolatey cupcakes. They're always so fresh. Who can resist Hostess? Mama! <laughs> so when I say yes, it's Hostess. Oh, no. Look who's here. Hiya, boys. Here, Midas is guaranteeing foreign car mufflers. <laughs> Mr. Creedy, you don't drive a foreign car. Sister Creedy does. Don't stand there, guys. Midas eyes. From now on, foreign car owners can take advantage of Midas, too. If anything goes wrong with our American or foreign car muffler, Midas will replace it free as long as you own your car. I guarantee. See you again, boys. We start with good fresh chicken. We cook it up two ways. Crunchy, extra crispy. Crunchy because it's dipped in batter twice. Or tender original recipe. Eleven herbs and spices make it taste so nice. The Colonel is the only one who has this choice for you. It's so nice, nice and real. So good about meal. So good about Kentucky Fried Chicken. Christy McNichol and Linda Lavin are growing up together. I met a guy. Then Mom meets Patrick O'Neill. I want to know where he's sleeping tonight. Max Gale is the other man. We're going through something that's really difficult. Like Mom, Like Me. A very special movie, Sunday at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. with it. It's amazing how much water you can pull out of the air. What happened? This was the flat this rock. This is the bush. This is the flat rock. Right. These. 
These? That's them? Yeah. Congratulations. Mmm. Mmm. What's the matter? Come on. Here, 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 here. about those berries, did you? No. You see, I, I, I didn't... I, I didn't... Have you ever done this before? Have you ever really crashed? Oh, actually, I read about these survival techniques... You read? That... You read about it in a book? Yeah, in this book. Uh, I've actually <laughs> never crashed before. <laughs> oh, my God. side of this area, huh? Well, I only had them for a few seconds. They gave me the two landmarks. Are you sure there was nothing more? Just the fire tower and the road? You didn't happen to make a tape, did you? No, sir. Well, I guess we've gone as far as we can go. But you can't stop just like that. Who are you? Amy Waddell, The American Report. Wasn't one of the people on that plane a reporter? Yeah. A friend of mine. Okay, fellas. I understand the way you feel, miss. They're out there. They've got to be. I know they are. Their flight plan said they had an ELT aboard. Now, our only hope of finding them is if it's still working. I think I cracked up in a crash. Wait, if, if they are alive... And you stop the search, well, they could die. It's a dead end either way. The weather's changing. Cold is setting in. Look, you can fight a lot of things, but you can't beat the weather. There's still a chance they might make it out. Yeah, if they luck into a miracle, even then it'd be close. Uh, don't worry, Miss Waddell. They haven't given up hope yet. did some work in the pipeline until I figured out that all Alaska was going to get me was a bit colder. I thought there was a lot of money to be made up there. Oh, I made my share. Then I invested in one of those uh, amusement palaces. The only one in Nome that went broke. The lady of the house got a religion. She became a nun. This is the only lady I trust now. I beg your pardon. Present company accepted. Your uh, lady friend hasn't been much help the past two days. Well, they just haven't flown a pattern over us yet. They will. What happens when everything's gone? No food, no water. What well, left was a one day ration for a sick mouse. <laughs> you do have a way with words, don't you? <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. You'll get, you'll okay, get cold. I'm used to it. 
Thank you. Nothing in the air rescue reports? Oh, they might as well be talking moon rescue. They weren't even close to finding anything. I thought you could use something. You know, you're gonna wear out that seat if you don't get up soon. I just can't give up. There's gotta be something here that can help. What's wrong? It's getting late. You think they're dead, don't you? To the mountains. Hey, if I can help. Exploded any minute. I'm not staying here another day or another night. You're serious? You bet I am. The animals managed to do better than search and rescue. They managed to find us. That's because they're hungry. So am I. And I'm gonna survive. Okay, we've been over this before. The Unicom station we contacted knows our plane went down in this area. And how long are they gonna search for us? Three or four days. The way I count the search is over. Okay. Another plane will fly over here and listen to our ELT. They'll hear it. ELT, ELT, that's all you ever talk about is that damn ELT. Tell me, how much long before there's no beep to hear? It's only a few yards more. Just take the hand. Come on. I hope we're not climbing this mountain just because it's here. Look, I'm not going out of here till I can see what I'm facing. Maybe from up here I can see a landmark, a sign, a way out, something. Will you look at 
sass. Water. set out to make a perfect mascara they asked professional models what they wanted most this is it new covergirl professional mascara with a rich fiber free formula and a special curl brush a system designed to give you the look covergirls demand long defined lashes evenly colored perfectly curled there's never been a mascara like this before new covergirl professional mascara it gives you the look covergirls demand have you tried the newest flavor in Doritos brand tortilla chips? It's sour cream and onion. Ooh. The snappy taste of onion mellowed with the rich flavor of sour cream. Try them. But watch the crunch. Mm. Try sour cream and onion Doritos. They taste as good as they crunch. furniture polish? I think so. Oh, I just ran out. Here you go. Oh, oh I don't dust with Pledge. Oh, well, well, what's the difference? She'll see. Pledge picks up fingerprints, smudges. See? Really highlights the beauty of wood. Mine doesn't look that good. Your Pledge looks better. Clean, natural beauty. I love your Pledge. Knock any time. Pledge. Clean, natural beauty every time you dust. The American Girls will continue. Welcome to the penal colonnade of French Guiana. Get going! And from which there is no escape. I want that name and I want it now. That man risked his life to save mine. Steve McQueen co-stars with Dustin Hoffman as prisoners determined to escape a living death in Papillon, one of the greatest adventure films of all time, on the CBS Tuesday Night Movies at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. This is CBS. Saturday night, one of the strangest tales to come out of World War II. He was hot. Harper, cool hand Luke. Now, Paul Newman is... Frigg. Harry R. Look. Oh, mud in your eye. Frigg's done it again! What the f*** you think I want to do a thing like that for? Frigg fighting to remain a POW in World War II's plushest prison camp. Paul Newman and Silva Casina star in The Secret War of Harry Frigg, Saturday night at 10.30. Twiggy and Dinah, Monday at 3.30. settle for you. I can't do it. I can't. Oh, yeah. A lot of people with a lot less experience than you have a set of legs. I can't. I can't. You can. 
Now you either set my leg, or I'm gonna spend the rest of my life lying here. Didn't your mother ever teach you it was rude to stare? You're so beautiful. <laughs> Flattery won't get you anywhere. Rebecca. Hmm? I've always had an easy time saying I'm sorry, but a hard time meaning it. Your mind don't say anything. I'm stupid. I'm supposed to be taking the responsibility here. And you? Some things you couldn't help. <laughs> yeah, I did what I could. I'm the one that got us here. Listen, I've been thinking. Now that we've found water, we're gonna stay put. In the land of plenty. I can find food somehow. Somebody will find us. Here you go. There now. Is that better? Huh? It's going to snow. It's almost impossible to find something like a twin beach unless you actually see it come down. We had a crash uh, over in the Humphreys Peak area just about this time last year. <sighs> the snows hit early. We couldn't find them until the following spring. How long did they live? It's hard to say. There wasn't enough left of them to tell. 
I'm sorry. There's just got to be some chance out there. Yeah. A chance the snow will get him if the tree didn't. Are you sure you didn't see something the day it went down? Look, if the plane went down around here, I would have seen it. I've been trying to get you for hours. Where are you? The mountains. I pulled over to the side of the road and I guess I fell asleep. Amy, uh, come home. Case, you gave me a leave of absence for two weeks. To try and forget not to keep rehashing an accident that's over and done with. Casey, I thought you had some heart. But I didn't love Rebecca? I didn't mean that. Yeah, I know, kid, I know. Look, Amy, you've got to get back to work. I've got this story for you. It's a blockbuster and it's all yours. Not without my partner. It's over. They telephoned me. The air search has been called off. I can't stop now, Case. Oh, come on, kid. You're shredding us both to bits. You've done as much as you humanly could. Then I'll start all over again. Round Concord's getting a ticket. Concord? Round Concord. Why is American Motors Concord such a success? Value. Because the AMC Concord DL is a compact that comes with its luxury extras at no extra charge. Luxuries like a Landau roof, crushed velour seats, digital clock, and a smooth, quiet ride. He's kidding. It's not a brown Concord. It's red. Red! 1979 AMC Concord, the new American success story. Now I got real panties in my pantyhose. Hit sheer indulgence. Now we got real panties in our pantyhose. It's sheer indulgence. The real panty pantyhose with cool, comfortable cotton, not just in one spot, but inside the whole panty. Now we got real uh. panties in our pantyhose. It's sheer indulgence. I'm not going, and that's final. You're overreacting, Phil. What's the matter? Well, his doctor told him caffeine bothers him. You should drink Sanka Brand decaffeinated coffee. But I only like real coffee. Phil, Sanka Brand is 100% real coffee. Try it. Mmm. This is real coffee. My goodness, look at the lovebirds. That's what happens when you fall in love with Sanka Brand. <laughs> Sanka Brand, the coffee that lets you be your best. trying to poison me? You picked it. Yeah, but not to cook. Well, you wouldn't need it. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Freezing. God, uh, what happened to that good old Yukon spirit, huh? I'm freezing. A man that could brave the cold? I'm freezing. It. Yes. 
have lots of reporter friends. Yes. Any man in particular? As a friend, my boss, Frank Casey. Your boss? Mm. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I, I never worked for a lady boss. Nows and ends. Are you? Only one. While well back. Back. Hmm. I want you to walk out tomorrow. Can't go anywhere with that leg right now. Not later either. We'll worry about it tomorrow, okay? Sounded like an okay guy. He wanted me to come home and I just couldn't, not with the search. This tape recorder hook up to this radio? Yeah, just sit down. You did make a tape, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's nothing. Nothing? Two people crashed out there, maybe dying, and you say nothing? All right, I got scared, okay? You made a recording of Beck's plane when it went down, didn't you? What's the rest of it, Gary? Okay, look, they, they, they called in to me to, for instructions to make an emergency landing, so I gave it to them. It must be a fire lookout just east of the fork. Uh, Roger, 6-1 Sierra, I make you... 20 miles south. Turn to 60 to the pass. I meant turn 0, 060 degrees, not 260. They've been looking in the wrong area. The plane didn't go down anywhere around here, did it? There. All right, the fire tower's here. Now, I meant for them to come down here, but they must have gone up along this line somewhere. And they still might be alive, even now. And if their ELP is working, we could find them. That helicopter, can you fly it? Yeah, but my dad's in New York. No buts. No buts about it. Let's go. Find them!
Sure. Hey, Elsa. They're heading for us. You know it. I guess the fire started. You're not gonna be able to find us way down here. Well, the ELT stopped. Just enough juice for a laugh. That's it. There's no more hope. Here. that floor then wax it and then if there's time you can go to the ball scrubbing <laughs> waxing once doing the floor was hard work then came mop and glow mop and glow cleans and shines at the same time just that mop and the floor is beautiful in minutes once upon a time a beautiful floor was hard work now you can clean and shine with mop and glow the next best thing to a fairy godmother how do you machine wash an $80 outfit? Turn to Woolite. How do you keep lingerie bright? Turn to Woolite. How do you keep sweaters soft? Turn to Woolite. Woolite special cold water formula safely cares for all fine washables. Keeps the fit. Keeps the color bright. And feels so soft. Do more for more of your clothes. Turn to Woolite. Hand or machine, Woolite and cold water safely cleans all fine washables. Ever wear two kinds of pantyhose at once? We sewed half of these ordinary pantyhose to half of sheer energy to see if women could feel the difference. Listen to what some of them say. The sheer energy leg was just super. It felt like I was getting a massage. The right leg felt like it always did after days were kind of tired. And the left leg was ready to go out and learn the hustle. See how good sheer energy's all-day massage can make your legs feel. I wish I had them on both legs. And here's the search and rescue helicopter now. Returning this time with the crash survivors from their mountain survival site some 60 miles northeast of the small private airstrip in Wymac, Oregon. The injured pilot, Ted Benton, Boy, that okay is in the silk litter. As soon as he found out you were alive, he flew in a crew from our affiliate station in Seattle. And if I hadn't made it out alive, would he have also flown in a crew? Dad! He was very upset through the whole thing. I know. But he probably would have flown in a crew anyway. <laughs> and so it was. 
The experience, know-how, and determination of ex-Bush pilot Ted Benton kept himself and one of the American Report researchers alive until they were found by the dauntless search and rescue team. Hello? Not bad, huh? You know, I still get goose pimples every time I look at that footage. So do I, Case. Now, can we get back to new business? Okay, shoot. Good. Now, a psychic working with NASA disappeared today. Just puff, vanished from the face of the Earth. I'll have a film crew meet you in Houston tomorrow. Houston? Tomorrow? We're 1,500 miles away, Case. How do you suppose we get to Houston by tomorrow? Well, charter a plane. <laughs> Once. Oh, yeah? When was that? When I asked him for a raise. 